The Indian Ministry of Defense announced that the indigenous ballistic missile nuclear submarine, INS Arihant has successfully launched a nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile in the Bay of Bengal with very high accuracy. And all operational and technological parameters of the weapon system have been validated. The statement didn't say what kind of missile was launched or how far it could go. Sources said it might have been the 750 km range K-15 SLBM, which is in the K family. But, there was no official confirmation. However, it is seen as a big step toward improving India's ability to launch strategic strikes. It is a signal to India's adversaries about the operationalism of its second strike capability. Indian ballistic missile submarines may now be able to target China and Pakistan from underwater locations when they are put into service. Indian SSBN INS Arihant, which was launched in 2009 and entered service in 2016, is India's first nuclear-powered submarine capable of firing ballistic missiles. It was constructed as part of the highly classified Advanced Technology Vessel ATV program, which started in the 1990s. A ballistic missile submarine is a submarine capable of deploying submarine-launched ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads. INS Arihant and its class of submarines are classified as SSBN, which is the hull classification symbol for nuclear-powered ballistic missile carrying submarines. Submarines launched nuclear missiles are a force multiplier for any nation, as they are difficult to track before launch. The Asian giant now joins six countries in the world to have the capability to fire a nuclear missile from land, air and undersea. The others being the United States, Russia, China, France and the United Kingdom. INS Arihant is based on the Russian Akula 1 class submarine, it is designed to carry 12, K-15, or 4, K-4 missiles. While the Navy manages and operates the vessel, but the operations of the SLBMs from the SSBN are under the jurisdiction of India's Strategic Forces Command, which is part of India's Nuclear Command Authority. The second Arihant class submarine, SSBN Aragat, is alleged to have been launched in 2017, and is now conducting sea testing. In December of last year, the UK-based journal, Jane's Defence Weekly claimed, using satellite imaging sources, that India had launched its third Arihant class submarine. Furthermore, India operates 15 traditional diesel-electric submarines, designated SSK, with more on the way. What is the strategic significance of SLBM in the context of establishing a nuclear triad, particularly in light of India's no first use policy, the capacity to fire nuclear weapons from submarine platforms has enormous strategic importance. The sea-based underwater nuclear capable weapons greatly improve the second strike capacity, hence validating the nuclear deterrent. These submarines may achieve credible nuclear deterrence by both surviving an enemy's first attack and launching a strike in response. Currently, the PLA Navy has six nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, six nuclear-powered attack submarines, and 46 diesel-powered attack submarines SS. Pakistan Navy, on the other hand, operates five diesel-electric submarines, and three midget submarines weighing less than 150 tons. K-15, Sagarika, or K-4 missiles. The specific SLBM utilized in the test was not revealed. It's possible that they are K-15, Sagarika, or K-4 missiles. The K-15, also known as the B-05, or Sagarika, is a SLBM developed by DRDO, for use with the Indian Navy's Arihant-class submarines. First tested in 2008, it is the first ballistic missile in India's Kalam series of SLBMs. K-15 can carry a 1,000 kg warhead, the missile has a diameter 0.74 meters and a length of 10 meters. This missile, however, is seen as a stopgap measure, and this 700 or 750 km range missile provides India with second strike capability towards Pakistan. K-4 Missiles India has also developed and successfully tested K-4 missiles, which have a range of 3,500 kilometers. It is India's most mysterious SLBM. 
No known images exist for this missile, but multiple sources estimate the missile's diameter as 1.4 meters. It has two stages, and its total length is 10 meters, and weighs nearly 17 tons. It can carry a warhead weighing up to 2 tons or 2.2 tons, and is powered solid rocket propellant. It uses a canister, with a gas generator, and is configured to launch from the Arihant class's missile tubes, which can fit either three K-15 missiles, or one K-4 missile. It has the ability to strike targets, in all of Pakistan and most of China, when launched from the Bay of Bengal. With this, K-4 provides India with a credible second strike capability. More K family members are purportedly being developed, they are said to go by the code names K5 and K6, and have ranges of 5,000 km and 6,000 km, respectively.